Gentes, welcome back to another video. I really hope you guys are doing okay in this pandemic. I pray for your families, your friends, you. I pray for everyone in this world that everyone is able to recover from this um, virus and the effects of this virus on families and just livelihood. You know, a lot of businesses are losing money, a lot of people are losing jobs, and it's just, it needs to stop. Whatever the reason for this virus, it just, it needs to go away. And I just wish I could help everyone in this world, but obviously that's, that's not reality. You know, I have limited income. I'm just thankful to have an income because like I said, so many people don't. Um, keep your friends and families in your prayers, but also keep your neighbors and your enemies and people that you may not even know in your prayers as well because we all need it. Okay, let's get into this video. This video is going to be a skincare, um, it's not a routine, it's just basically a list of products that I've used and I'm going to give you backstories on how I even got to using those products. So if you're interested in seeing that, then just keep on. So I started having acne when I was 13 years old and it wasn't pretty bad. It was like very just small bumps all over my forehead and stuff like that. Then I started using Proactive, I used Noxzema, I used black soap, I used so many products that so many people call their holy grail, right? It didn't work for me. Now fast forward, I was 28 at the time and I was still going through acne. So I, I got very tired of it and I went to the dermatologist and I was like, yo, can you help me out please? Because I need to have clear skin at least for once in my life. And she prescribed me benzoyl peroxide and something else because she said I had hormonal acne. So I got on birth control as well during that time and birth control did not help me. It just made me gain a whole bunch of weight. <laughs> okay, it didn't help my acne. And so I stopped using birth control um fast forward a few months my face was absolutely gorgeous like beautiful i was i didn't have to wear makeup to cover anything up like it was just beautiful right then the product stopped working so i rushed back to the dermatologist and i was like yo the product isn't working i'm my face at that point is raging with acne okay like just horrible painful acne so I went back and she prescribed another grade of benzoyl peroxide and I started using that because the first time it worked pretty well so I didn't have any qualms about that I used it and my face started it wasn't breaking out per se but it was breaking out in rash so I had rashes all over my jawline and it was just red and irritated. I actually thought it was ringworms at first, but it was not ringworms, it was an allergic reaction. And after a lot of research, I finally realized that it was due to benzoyl peroxide. A lot of people with acne prone sensitive skin, um, they do have allergic reactions to benzoyl peroxide. So if you've noticed anything on your face as far as um, you know rashes all over your face or even acne it might be an allergic reaction okay so first I started using just regular face washes like the Aveeno calming cleanser and I would tone with the witch hazel right for the longest I was doing that for about two or three years and my face was still pretty bad um, my sister actually she's a nurse she told me that she had been using something on her on her skin and it worked really well because you know she used to suffer from acne as well it was clendomycin wipes i don't know if you guys have heard of that but clendomycin wipes cleared my skin up whenever i had a breakout i would just wipe it all over my face and it was very strong smelling like kind of um like rubbing alcohol smell but it worked so well right so i started using that during the morning time and then i would use this bad boy tretinoin that's 0.1 percent tretinoin and i would use it on my skin at night and it would work so beautifully my face cleared up it was beautiful but i was still using the aveeno and the witch hazel to tone my face and take care of my skin 
Now the thing with that is that the witch hazel is really good for a time being but after watching a video on YouTube, this beautiful black girl, she's an esthetician, I can't remember her name, she said that the witch hazel is very drying on the skin so if you have acne prone skin your first thought is to go to something drying to dry out the pimples and stuff like that but that's the wrong thing to do your skin still needs to be hydrated so when she said that I was like wow what can I use and she recommended pixie I don't know if you guys have ever heard of pixie but the pixie line is pretty dang great okay so I use this cleanser that's the rose cream cleanser in the morning to cleanse my face and then I will follow up with the rose tonic and then after that I will use the sweet beets these are so good those are vitamin serums I actually was looking at Arnel Armand's video on skincare and she said those are really good so I was like y'all I need to get and I did and I love it and it works fantastic for my skin after that I used to moisturize with the hydrating milk lotion but I've noticed that it doesn't really do anything for my skin so I stopped using it and I would use the Clinique instead right you guys it's so hard trying to hold the camera and showing you guys these products because my my camera stand broke so I have to hold my camera in my hand I'm sorry <laughs> you guys as soon as you can start on eye cream okay those are really good the L'Oreal one is really bomb um, and also this one is by glory will it's really good as well so I'll use that during the morning and at night I started using the retinol jasmine cleanser this is so good that's what I used on my skin last night I haven't washed my face yet but my skin is glowing honey so I use that and of course the collagen tonic right so I alternate between the collagen tonic and the glow tonic I don't even know if you guys could see this too well but I'll probably if you can't see it I'll probably put up like pictures of it and everything so you guys could see it properly um, but after the glow tonic I still use this bad boy because this works wonders on your skin and then I follow up with the rose glow mist it's really really good like at least your skin feeling so supple so beautiful so radiant and when you wake up in the morning especially if you use this at night when you wake up in the morning your skin is gonna thank you okay so some of the mistakes that I had been making <laughs> was using something that a lot of people consider very very good and hydrating for your skin now I threw away all my hyaluronic acids those didn't work on my skin at all it actually broke me out I threw them away and I was also using vitamin C I had the vitamin C cleanser like the um, what is it? yeah the cleanser and the tonic and it was just making my skin break out and I started noticing whenever I would use it it would break me out so I actually came across a Karuchi trans video on skincare and she told us well her viewers she told us that basically her skin was really sensitive and whenever she used vitamin C it really um, like it, it affected her skin and I was thinking like yo that's so me like it affects my skin it breaks me out it doesn't do anything good for my skin so if you're experiencing breakouts and you have sensitive acne prone skin and you're using any type of vitamin C that might be the reason why your skin is breaking out also beware on what you what you wash with so if you're washing your body with anything other than Dove you might actually be doing a lot more harm than good and I'm not trying to promote Dove but that's what I've noticed worked for me I've used several other um, body washes and stuff like that dial soap all of that 
it's either too drying on the skin or it'll break me out. So I stick with Dove and I love Dove. Dove, sponsor me. <laughs> um, also, I lotion with bio oil. Now, the reason why I like bio oil is because it's not overpowering. It's not something with a lot of fragrance or anything like that, which could also irritate your skin. It's very, I just, I just love the smell of bio oil. It just smells like oil to me, you feel me? Um, what else do I use? Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. This fake Clarisonic brush. Um, this one is by Et Ooh, It's Hair Auti. I don't know how to pronounce this, but you can get it on Amazon for less than $20. You don't have to get the Clarisonic one. Just get whichever one that you that you see that has really good reviews. And then just use it on your face every day, every night, every morning. And it'll work fantastic on your skin. That's what's really helped me a lot, you know, with my acne and everything like that. So I really, I really enjoy using that. Also, um, beware on what you eat. So I started eating a lot of nuts and then I started having a lot of reactions. So my face would break out a lot and I just couldn't figure out what it was until my son actually had a, a reaction to cashews. And I was like, his eyes swole up and everything like that. And I was like, yo, that's probably what's been happening with me. You know, because I always used to eat sunflower seeds and everything like that. So beware of nuts. If you have a nut allergy, please do not, you know, like stop eating nuts. It might actually clear your skin up. So that's just one of the things that you, you can look into. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Also, comment your thoughts and opinions on this video down below in the comment section below. And also, watch another video and come again. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.